Dutch, aren't you excited? This is your favorite series of bourbons. I'm under, I mean, you can keep saying that. It doesn't make it you true. You said it was like your favorite. You love Blood Oath. I've never said that in my hey, entire hey, life. Hey, I like the box. Hey. Curiosity Public Dutch. Joel's here. Dylan. And welcome to yet another episode of our Ultimate Spirits Competition, our quest to review every sipping spirit on the face of the planet and subject it to our 100-point scoring system. And in this episode... Dutch's favorite. Blood Oath is not my favorite. Despite how many times Dylan has said it, It's a. It's. it's he thinks favorite. it's funny. It's his favorite. I like the box. I love the box. Uh, this is Blood Oath Pact 7, the 2021 release. These come in these really nice boxes. I do agree. Coffins. It's a fantastic box. It says, uh, what does that say there? Finished in a Sauterne barrel. Do you guys know what Sauterne, Sauterne is? Uh, no idea. Of course. It's a dessert wine. So yeah. look at that in there. Dessert wine. Look at that. It's in its little coffin. And get that out of there. You guys can have this box down on that side if you want. Beautiful bottle, Blood Oath on the side. These are always done at 98.6 proof. Do you know why? Because that's the temperature of blood. Um, well, actually, I'm cold blooded, so. <laughs> yeah, so this is a nice so you're blue. 98.5. A nice. <laughs> 98 degrees. <laughs> Do you remember that? Wow. 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 What reference am I making? <laughs> um, anyway, great looking bottle. I love this blue motif on this one. There's the I side. do like the color, I gotta say. Uh, it's a good color. It's, so. It looks regal. Uh, do you have the stats on this? How long? It's a 14 year old? Yeah, so John Remp and Lux Row have released Pack 7, which is a blend of 14 year extra aged rye bourbon. An 8 year rye bourbon and another 8 year rye bourbon. Do you not have a glass? Um, it's finished in the wine cast from the Bordeaux region. Do you have a glass? And it is bottled at 98.6. Dylan, you have a glass. a suggested retail price of $99.99. You have glasses. Uh, yes, I have a glass right there. He doesn't have a coaster. Well, I didn't hear anything you said because I was trying to get this poured for you guys, but we didn't have glasses. Uh, I assume it was all very interesting. True professional. Yeah, I spilled a lot. So let's see. So, so turn finish. Uh, I'm wondering if this is going to be cloyingly sweet, as I might uh, I like cloying. imagine. You know, this nose is difficult to score. I got to say. I know where you're coming from. You know if you like it. Well, no, I mean, it's, it's obviously pleasant, right? It's obviously sweet. The question is, well, does it score high? Too sweet. Well, I think what we all need to do is taste it and score it and see how we, uh, see how we end up, so... I'm sorry, you're talking. We'll be back. What's going on? Like, how are it's we off the rails already? <laughs> oh my gosh, look at how much I... This, mm. this is how I get the aroma, though. That is so gross. How uncouth. <laughs> you know how many different things I'm smelling right now? Seriously. <laughs> oh, I gotta get underneath this. This, this really reminds me of... Whoa. I know what it is. Tokai? It's something on top of another bourbon. You know what it is? You want me to tell you or not? So yeah, we should point out this is a is sourced from Heaven Hill, right? But it is a Lux Row product. And we do know now that Lux Row and MGP and MGP 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 What did I say? Wow. That weird MGP 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 Wow. <laughs> English much? <laughs> no. Not much. Not uh, much. <laughs> Lux Row and MGP have signed a big deal. And they're now... Uh, signed a big deal. They, uh, MGP acquired Lux deal. Row. Whatever. I don't know what, what I'm saying. They are now together and they were once separate. But um, when two So the one. anticipation is that... <laughs> <laughs> Folks, <laughs> we have not had anything before this. I this know. is normal behavior. This is fresh. This is insane. Anyway, the point is is that um, I'm not sure if Lux Row is going to keep sourcing from Heaven Hill now that they're partnered or acquired by MGP. So, And, and we also know that Lux Row is distilling their own stuff now, so. Right. I've seen their barrels. Will be, uh, it'll be interesting. So one thing to note, 
this is my bottle and I've had it before. Um, I gotta say, it's fascinating. It has evolved hmm. in a w interesting way. Teams. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys we've had some time to taste we've all scored it we haven't discussed our scores at all we're now going to reveal our scores to each other but first jules is going to give you our scoring criteria in less than three seconds big boy did it big wow. name that movie big boy did it so we do have a 100-point grading system across 10 categories that include aroma, flavor, body, complexity, balance, finish, uniqueness, drinkability, aesthetics, and value. We do weigh most categories by 10 each. Flavor, however, is 20 points. And aesthetics and value are 5 points each. You can medal in our Ultimate Spirits competition with a 60 and above. Go from bronze, silver, gold to diamond. All right, guys. Initial score time. Before we've had a chance to discuss it, <coughs> scores could change. I gave this a 73. 77. I gave it a 69. All right. It doesn't surprise me that Jules has the highest score on this. <laughs> it's good. Um, well, let's kick it off with Aroma. Um, I, I gave it a 7. I gave it an 8. I gave it an 8. I smelled Old Ezra 7 year when I smelled this. Oh. Old Ezra, that's what you're smoking. With huh? another layer of something sprinkled that on top. That came out of so nowhere. But Peanut. It, I gotta say, that came out of nowhere. No, man, it smells exactly thought, like that to I me. thought you were gonna say that... Um, that been hellish, man. It, I thought you were gonna go um, and say that this, play, this aroma profile was like um, some of those blends of multi-mash uh, bill... And multi-year releases. Yeah, but I, I guess that's what you always get that graininess like from that in. from that uh, old uh, the old Ezra. I mean, I think the <clears throat> the finish in the um, the the grape barrels, the wine barrels, certainly evened out a lot of it in terms of the aroma. I agree. And so there's definitely an advantage there. So you, I I mean I can't deny that it does smell pleasant, mm -hmm. and there are. It's it's the grape skin that yeah. comes forward, obviously, and that white sugar, um, and then you get touch yeah. of that ripe fruits, a little bit of that flower, um, less like a, wood, less like a oak. butter, more like a buttery. Oh, yeah. Yeah. and and it's I like mean some of the spices are already a, a little bit down. I mean it's a soft eight for me, but I think it deserves the eight. I see where you guys come from. There's thing, it's, there's stuff in here. It yeah. just it just it's there. It didn't seem to work. I don't mm. know if that makes sense. Like I could pick things out, but like it didn't. Like they didn't go together almost. Mm. I, which also happened on the palate. I will say. Right. I think I agree with you more on the palate than the aroma. Okay. I, I gave I gave it the points it deserved in the aroma. I can see the eight. I, I mean, I'm kind of tempted, but I don't know. I'll smell it again at the end. I'll see yeah. if I change my mind. Let's move on to flavor. Uh, I give it a sixteen. Seventeen. I gave it a fifteen. Okay, so we're all right in that same area. Uh, exactly what I said, like disjointed. I could pick out things, but it, it, it was very drying as well. Mm. And I just, I don't know. There was something weird about it. Yeah. I had a hard mm. time putting my finger on what I didn't particularly like. I mean, there's there's good flavors. There's nothing off-putting, yeah. Yeah. right? I want to make that clear. Like, it's not. it doesn't taste bad. It just, there was something about it that didn't seem to work on my palate. Yeah, you obviously love this. No, I enjoy, yeah, I enjoyed it. It's, it's like I walked into a bake shop. I mean, I was getting all kinds of baked goods, uh, you know, with like the dried fruit on a baked good kind of thing. So it was it was pleasurable. I really like your basically straightforward reviews. <laughs> I mean, I have to say hot sauce. Straight talk. I mean, it is straight talk, right? Um, I gave it a 15 because let me kind of uh, explain my two experiences here. Um, when I first opened this, I felt like I was uh, experiencing two very, very different journeys. I felt like yeah. I was uh, like doing the wine tour, mm. and then I was doing like the kind of a bourbon tour. And I was getting these like very, very competing, sometimes uh, almost caustic and incompatible flavors uh, trying to come out. And I initially kind of 
held my tongue because I felt that it deserved time to open up. Now, this has been open for a couple months now, actually. And when I tasted it now, I, I say it. And so I think at the time, I would have given it like a 11 or a 12. The fact that it's 15 is a significant improvement, but it's still there. It's like I can describe everything about the wine, and I can describe everything about the burp. Look at the Dutch's face. It's just so uninterested. In Again, that. like the Dutch's. This face. is like the beginning of the day, folks. All right. I mean, like, geez. <laughs> First um, episode. So there's the there's there's the journey. Uh, you it's gotta, just so you gotta, boring. You gotta listen to this very carefully, okay? <laughs> okay. So if you don't, I'm gonna do this over and over again. So you're gonna have this journey of the wine, where you get the grape uh, skin, the juice, the sugars, and then you get the bourbon, and and the jam and the kind of the slight flour and all this kind of stuff is trying to come out, but it really buries each other. I agree. So well, I mean, so let me tell you what though, I, I I knocked it more on balance because of that. Yeah. Mm. But but, I, but yo, I I agree the, with on you. On the palate, it yeah. was drying and disjointed. It was like the, oh, but the that's my takeaway. See, that's the thing. I I interpret the disjointed kind of experience in balance rather than yeah. than the flavor. Like I, but it affects the way it sits on your palate too. True, like it just doesn't true, true, work. True. Yeah, it's right, weird. Right. Okay, let's move on to body. Uh, I actually didn't think that, that there's a. Fair amount. You said buttery, and like, there's mm. not a bad mouth feel. I ended up at an eight on the body. I've actually mm. hit my it, it, the consistency, the viscosity, all was pretty nice to me. Eight. No, what'd you oh, give it? I give it a seven. Seven. Okay. I mean, not that far off. Um, it doesn't taste thin. Yeah, it does it's, not taste. It's not thin. the richest thing, but, but I, yeah. I thought it was. But that's nice. mostly why. It's just it's not the richest thing, and um, also I think it faded quickly uh, on the palate. Not bad. Me, so. Not bad, actually. Yeah, it, it, it and does, I think it I mean coat. I think the wine finish also makes it a little bit better, right? I agree. Yeah. I agree. I mean, I get that's what most of the finish is for me. Yeah. You know, what yeah. lingers on my tongue is the sauterne kind of white grape thing. So, so that's what sauterne is. Yeah. Sauterne. Complexity. Uh, I wrote down a nine. Mm. I almost give this one. I give it an eight. I give it an eight. Yeah, I, I see the eight. eight. I, I was in between an eight and a nine, and. It was kind of what I was saying before. I mean, there's so many flavors. Yeah, there really a lot are. To sort they just a don't, lot to sort through. They just don't work together. But I, it's very complex. So I kind of tried to dissociate complexity and balance. Yeah. Mm. Very complex, not well balanced. That's kind of where I came down. Mm. Nothing. Nice. No. Okay. Well, let's move on to balance. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Six. So I gave it a seven. I gave it a five, but I think what Dutch was talking about. You know, Look, you're, you're giving it a high score, saying you're you're like saying all these things that are negative connotation, right? Well, and yet you're giving it a seven. Tell yes, me, tell because me it's not why. off-putting. That's mm -hmm. I guess what I'm saying is like there's no bad flavors here. It's just like they don't really work together. It's like a peanut butter and pickle banana sandwich or right. something. Like it's like they're, they're all, all good. There, they're all good but, flavors. They're all yeah. there, but they, it just doesn't really work together. Yeah. But if there was something off-putting, like yeah, if there was a huge grain component or like a, a tannic oak thing, that would have dropped me down to like a five or a four. But See, I thought the, that was a five where it's not off-putting and yet but there's some it really wasn't good, executing in the way that we hoped But there's would. some good flavors here. There's some but good flavors. Flavor. That's not balance. I see what you're saying. I don't know. I, I didn't... I don't know. For me, I was getting an even coat of like the sweet and the spice. So that, that's where I, for me, I found the balance. I guess that's that's the difference here. Is that, is that if it was just one thing coming right. through? Because then, yeah, if it's only I, the one thing punching but through, the things, but it's it, off balance. They were but, at the right levels. Yeah. They just weren't the right things. Does yeah. that make sense? I no, agree. but <laughs> sure. I agree. <laughs> I see both of your scores. I understand it. Yeah. But let's move on to finish. Uh, finish wasn't bad. It wasn't great. It was a seven. Seven. I started at a seven, I dropped down to six. Mm. So why that one point? Because I was tasting Drying. more of the wine. Yeah, mm. it's all wine on a finish. Than yeah. the bourbon. And so But it, it's not bad. But it's not flavors. bad, right. so it's not yeah. below yeah. a five. It's not a it's not a four. Yeah. And yeah. it's better than a five, but it's not better than a six. So That's what us that's what your six would Still be. Still talking? <laughs> uh, let's move on to uniqueness. Getting punchy today. Yeah, wow. Right. What's going on, guys? Finally. It's not better than Finally. The three. It's not better Wake than up. Four. Wake up. Yeah. Jeez. All right, guys. Uniqueness. Uh, pretty unique. I give it an eight. You give it a seven. I give it a six. 
This is pretty unique. Yeah. I have not had these flavor, this I, flavor combo. I have not seen I don't, Saturn finish. I don't like it that much, but it's very unique. I feel it's like the number, I, 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 as, the, as there are more packs, <laughs> the, the, the it goes they, down and the <laughs> uniqueness goes down. Uh, fair enough, fair enough. I, this is, cool this is the seventh iteration of this. But for the academic right? type, don't you look for that? The I think experimentation? it's unique. I like that. No, I do, I do. And don't you find but, uniqueness in but those But you know what it is? You know what it is? Doctor, did I find a fallacy in your logic? <laughs> Listen, the um, first of all, finished bourbon is not new anymore, right? When, yeah. when you know, Pact One first came out or when, let's say... Uh, Angel's Envy first came well, out. But, <clears throat> so turn finished, pretty unique. Really I, don't, unique. I can't think I of another bourbon. I can think else. of some scotch, but I can't think of a bourbon. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna give high scores whatever they. Think that's, the that's, that's the category. That's the category. That's the category. Decent score. We're not gonna. Yeah, the flight's them above for a five. It. But I just don't find the flavor profile to be that unique. Okay, that's right. the problem. Hey, you're I think. entitled to your score. Let's move on, guys, to drinkability. Uh, just, just too just disjointed for me. Six. Mm. Six. Seven. Give it a six. Yeah, I agree. I, it's just, it, again, nothing off-putting. I mean, there's no bad flavor. I actually flavors think here. in a lineup, this would be a fun exercise. I agree. I mean, and I think that's where its merits are. But I would, I mean, if I'm going to sit down to have a pour at the end of the night, I'm not, I'm just not grabbing this. I don't know. That's fair. I would grab this for a person that loves dessert wines. and said, hey, do you want to taste a bourbon just yeah, finished? Why don't you get, like, Angels and Rye? Or like probably, but secret, you know, and that's why it's a six. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's, I'm just not going to yeah. be reaching for this very yeah. much. Yeah, that's true. I will dock it down. All right, so you're down to what a six? six. Well. Okay, so hey, look, we all agree. Let's move on to aesthetics. Uh, I really like it. Four. I'm giving it a five. I gave it a five. I, mean, I agree. It with comes you. with the coffin. They all. So do it's the same rhetoric it. stuff. You know, it's yeah. a rhetoric. You know, the orphan barrel. But it looks all that. better. But man, right. but look at that, that blue. Yeah, you're right. With it does this, stand out yeah, I was, oh, that's. I was on the edge, so I will go. Hats up off to this release. This looks nice. great. This looks fantastic. And then this, this. The box is great too. You I always get with that, this color. With that coloring. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't like the fact that this uh, sticker is slightly. Yeah, it's off, you. But, oh, it but, is off. Yeah. But, uh, that's QC. But still, ooh, that looks really good. It does. It looks really good. All right, guys. Final category: value. Hundred bucks, you'll see it marked up. If it worked better, I'd give it a higher score. It's a two for me. Ooh, yeah, I struggle with this one. I ended up at a four though. Because you really like this. Because right? I think from a, a collector's point of view, yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm going to keep going if I already I invested in all these. And there's a part of me that kind of says it it's, it's only ninety nine. Like it's not, only ninety nine. They're not marketing and with it at Saturn finish. What else are you going to get with a Saturn mm. finish? Yeah, I started at a two, but I agree with you. Now this is like a collection, it's, right? It's so different. So it's it may not there's, be a, your there's jam, a level there. The fact yeah. that they're not pricing it at they could have gone two hundred or one hundred and fifty. Yeah. You're right. And yeah. the fact that <clears throat> this doesn't get marked up, right? Uh, Secondary. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Like yeah. I got this. I, 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 say, I, I got this nine nine. Yeah, I'm gonna go up to a, th a three. Yeah, three. 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 <laughs> Wrong three. 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 Drag laser. Uh, all right, guys. Let's get our uh, what final. Official scores. Uh, I ended up at a 75. 76. 69. 69. All right, which gives us our official Curiosity Public score for Blood Oath Pact 7. <laughs> Did your laptop just make a weird sound? <laughs> what? Uh, oh, official sorry. score for uh, Blood Oath Pact 7, finished in so turn casks, a 73. <laughs> Solid low silver. <laughs> low silver. Jeez. Solid um, low. Yeah, I, I, I get it. This is a very academic yeah. release. I, I could see it anywhere in the high sixties to low seventies. It makes sense to me. Yeah, I thought, I thought it deserved the bronze because the thing is, we have seen these kind of the boutique releases with the secondary maturation at this price point, right? Um, Sounds like you're getting tired of it. I am actually getting pretty tired. So here's a question, though. Uh, for our, our members, what would you do for a head-to-head -head with this? Another finished bourbon? Would you put this up against a, a finished scotch? Like a no, it feels finish? like it's no. in the realm of a scotch no. to me. <laughs> you know what, what I, I would do? You know what I would do? Like, it's got to be either... Some sort of dessert wine Like the thing? Thomas Moore 
uh, in line with like Thomas More, or we get the Blood Blood Oath Pact, the other Pact. It's got to be it's got to be a finished a bourbon. finished bourbon. Okay, so we'll we'll come up with a finished bourbon to do in a uh, taste off for our members of Curiosity Private. And again, if you want to help support the channel, Curiosity Private is a great way to do that, and you get cool little bonus footage things like a taste off. Jules. Tell us what you guys think in the comments below. Give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down, however you feel. Let us know about this episode. Subscribe, as Dutch mentioned, to Curiosity Public for more videos. Hit that bell icon so you get notifications when new videos are released. Uh, if you want to help us out, Curiosity Private and T-shirts. We do have a link in the description down below. We do have a podcast as well where we talk about all kinds of different topics. Uh, sometimes I go beyond uh, spirits. Boxing. Like pop culture. <laughs> exactly. Who the fuck? <laughs> and those are actually fun to record. Uh, you can check those out on all the podcast platforms out there. As always, stay safe, stay healthy. Stay curious. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna. I'm gonna, you know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put like something. secret messages in in the in the show. There's gonna be little like tiny ones where they it's have like, to go the zoom enhanced, zoom enhanced. Play Dylan's words backwards. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 you, you gotta, gotta start practicing backwards. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, when you, uh, when, a woman? you gotta play this backwards. Yep. <laughs> before we film next. Oh. Oh.